This presentation is made possible by a generous grant from the Ocean Fund, sponsored by Royal Caribbean Cruises Limited. Year after year, people from all over the world flock to South Florida to see our spectacular birds, especially our herons, egrets, storks, spoonbills, and other wading birds. Soon, you will embark on a similar journey, taking you where bird watchers go to see these beautiful birds on a bird watching field trip through the Mast Academy Outreach Program. Mast Academy is a nationally recognized high school with an innovative marine theme. Located on Virginia Key, right on Biscayne Bay, Mass students experience a varied curriculum using state-of-the-art technology and real-world laboratory equipment. Mass offers a wide variety of honors, advanced placement, and dual enrollment courses focusing on math and science, the humanities, and vocational skills. Mast is also home to the country's only U.S. Coast Guard Junior ROTC program. We have a lot of classes that they wouldn't normally offer at other schools, like Marine Bio, where we actually do some hands-on labs, like the one we're doing now, and it gives us some experience. Mass Academy is a special place because it's not every high school that you get to go into a pool and snorkel or go into the bay and kayak, and it's a really special um, experience. Your upcoming bird watching field trip, an opportunity to experience Florida's natural wonders firsthand, is the type of activity that Mast Academy students often experience. Some of you may consider Mast Academy when you're ready for high school. I think it's critical to nurture the bond between children and nature um, from an early age for them to have an appreciation for nature, to have memories of nature, I think would establish um, the basis, the foundation for preservation in the future. Experts agree that there are many recreational and educational benefits gained from bird watching. This experience teaches them many life lessons. Uh, there are many social skills that they learn and also um, just by the food web, they're experiencing that everything is connected and this is very important to learn early on and their actions or inactions, how that will affect the future. They need that exposure to the environment around them to really appreciate it. I can show them a video in a classroom, I can have them do a project and research it at home, but if they don't come out here, get in the sunlight, see the birds moving, see them interacting, then they don't appreciate it as much and we really want to foster that appreciation and then when they go back to the classroom, maybe they'll be excited about learning again in a different way. I wanted my students to experience birds of the Everglades because this is such an incredible opportunity for them to see um, the environment, the ecosystems. It actually ties very nicely with our curriculum and bringing the classroom and the textbooks to life. Your bird watching field trip will take you to either Everglades National Park in Homestead or to Wakadahatchee Wetlands in Palm Beach County. This usually depends on whether your school is located in North or South Miami-Dade County. Everglades National Park is the largest subtropical wilderness in the United States. This park is home to many unique species of plants and wildlife. Over 300 species of birds are waiting to be discovered by you. Many are rare or endangered. Wakadahatchee is an Indian word which means created waters. The wetlands here are 50 acres of water reclamation that create a wetlands ecosystem. Over 140 different species of birds as well as a wide variety of other wildlife has been spotted here. Now that your teacher has decided to participate in a bird watching field trip at either of these exciting destinations, he or she will prepare for the trip by arranging for bus transportation. In the case of Everglades National Park, there will also be an educational fee waiver form to submit to the park. Your teacher will also download copies of the pre-site, on-site, and post-site packets from the MAST Outreach website. Your teacher will prepare your class using activities from the pre-site packet. These lessons will teach you the basics of bird watching, such as learning bird field marks and how to take field notes. On the day of your trip, your teacher will give each of you an on-site packet. This is where you will record your field notes. Each of you will need a hat, water, insect repellent, sunscreen, and a pencil. Don't forget your lunch. Long pants and closed-toed shoes are recommended. If you're going to Everglades National Park, your teacher will bring a fee waiver confirmation letter. And now it's off to the bus.
If you're visiting Everglades, the outreach teacher will meet you at the Co Visitor Center, located near the park entrance. There, the outreach teacher will transfer the supplies to the bus and travel with you the rest of the way into the park. If you're traveling to Wakadahatchee, a mass outreach teacher will meet you at your school with his or her supplies and travel with you. So, let's talk about what to expect when you get there. When you get off the bus, you'll receive a clipboard, a pair of binoculars, a bird field card, and pre-walk instructions about bird watching from the outreach teacher. Remember to close the bus windows before getting off the bus. Some birds love school lunches. After a quick bathroom break, it's time to hit the trails. During the one to two hour bird watching experience, you'll use your bird field card, binoculars, and on-site packet to try and identify as many different types of birds as possible. Don't be surprised by the alligators and turtles. Both trails are abundant with wildlife. The birds are really interesting. Uh, there are so many different varieties of birds. It's not just the usual ones that you go to the park or you go outside your house and then you just observe. You'll travel with your class along the winding trail until you've returned to your starting point. Be ready with those binoculars because you never know what you're going to see. This will be an unforgettable learning experience. I'm really impressed with uh, their involvement. Um, they're stopping, I mean they've only gone a few feet in the time that we've been here and they've really stopped to draw as many birds as they can. Um, I think it's good for our school because we're located in the city for them to get out here and see um, the nature at its best, you know, on a beautiful day like today and they're seeing a lot of things they, they, they can see in books but it's better to see in person. It's beautiful knowing the different habitats and where the birds live and their colors. I'm learning that the birds are made up to do different things. Like, there are birds that have web feet so they can go better through the water, and there are ones with claws so they can pick up fishes and stuff. So it's cool. If you're visiting Everglades National Park, you'll also tour the Gumbo Limbo Nature Trail. There's so much to see, but watch out for the poison ivy. After the trails, you'll pack up and have lunch at Long Pine Key if you're at Everglades National Park, or at Murakami Park if you visited Wakatahatchee. Classes visiting Everglades National Park may also have time to explore the Co Visitor Center. Then it's back to school. After your bird watching experience, you'll complete the post site packet. These lessons will help reinforce everything you've learned. The pre site, on site, and post site packets are later graded. And if you score 80% or higher, you are awarded a certificate of achievement. Everglades National Park Ranger Jenny Guerra hopes you've made the most of this experience. The majority walk away with an appreciation for nature, an understanding, and a desire to see other natural areas around our country and around the world, hopefully. And it's wonderful. So are you ready to go bird watching? We hope it makes your spirits soar. For more information, visit us on the web or call 305-365-6278.